Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Siriana Tarot. This is going to be a reading for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. This reading covers a period from December 26th when we have the new moon in Capricorn until January 24th when we have the new moon in Aquarius in your sign. This new moon has us appreciating all the good in the world and the importance of staying close to nature. So get out in nature, go for a walk, go for a swim, go for a hike if weather permits. And if you can, go barefoot. This is, um, this is how you'll, you'll find the most balance, and especially when you're listening to your body and following your instincts. So turn off those cell phones and those tablets and all that, those Apple watches, etc., etc., and just try to get back to that basic you, okay, at this time. It's going to do you a world of good. Um, the new moon in an earth sign will give you intense feelings for physical contact, so cuddle up to the ones that you love, whether that be your, you know, people or pets. Both the sun and the moon are in Capricorn right now, so you'll be happiest with a dream that's in motion, a dream that you're working towards. And most likely you won't really enjoy that much idle time or downtime. So Aquarius, let's go ahead, let's get to work. Set your intentions, start anew with fresh goals in mind, wipe the slate clean, and let's go ahead and get it done. This new moon also coincides with a solar eclipse, so people born with personal planets in the cardinal signs, Aries, Cancer, Libra, and Capricorn will be mostly affected. I'm going to do a separate reading that covers the solar eclipse, so keep an eye out for that. I'm going to do a five-card tarot spread and also reading the um, bottom of the deck energy cards that are meant to identify your intentions for the upcoming cycle, show you what you need to learn in order to cultivate and eventually manifest those intentions during the next full moon on January 10th in Cancer or when we have that next new moon in Aquarius. Okay, so for those of you who follow my readings, I do new moon readings that are a great time to set your intentions. Speak them out loud, write them down, bury them in the ground. Or, um, and then I also do full moon readings, which are a great time to either see those intentions manifest or release the things that might be blocking you. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. While I'm doing this reading, I'm just going to ask Aquarius, you give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, comment and share, hit that notification bell if you want to get any updates when I upload anything new and I also just want to thank you guys for being here and for listening it really means the world to me and I love you guys so much so let's go ahead and get into this Aquarius Sun Moon Rising and Venus signs what messages do you have for Aquarius Sun Moon Rising and Venus signs for this new moon and Capricorn reading what messages do you have for Aquarius Sun Moon Rising and Venus signs for this new moon in Capricorn reading Okay, Aquarius, wow, interesting. Overall energy, three of swords. This is your energy. Uh, this is air, Libra, Gemini, and Aquarius. And this is all about hard sadness, sorrow, heartbreak. It could be a third party situation, but it could just be somebody who's really feeling hurt. You could have lost a loved one. Remember, third party situations don't always have to be that somebody has taken another lover or is stepping out on you. It could be anything that's just taking away from this relationship, but to the detriment of it. Okay, and here we do have two people. They're very sad. One of them is very defeated. The other one is looking at him or her like, how could you have done this? The Two of Swords is all about balance. Again, this is more Libra, Gemini, Aquarius energy, and it's all about making a decision. It's all about, you know, do we cut this relationship off? Okay, again, what is it that's bringing me so much sadness and sorrow, and am I able to forgive and forget, or do I have to move on? Okay, making that decision. Six of Cups in the reverse brings us to the Five of Cups, which is about disappointment, sadness, sorrow, depression, feeling stuck, not knowing what to do. Justice coming out in the reverse, things don't feel good. You know, karma is like either you, someone feels like, you know, this is karma coming back to them or somebody needs to resolve some karmic relationships. Okay, and then we've got the four of wands. This is a contract. This might be a contract being broken. The empress in the reverse, Aquarius, there very well may have been another person. Okay, but this is also just not being able to manifest what it is you wanted to. Seven of swords, somebody being sneaky. I mean, Aquarius, I would love this to not just be a third party situation or not somebody, but somebody is lying, somebody was lying, someone was very disingenuous about their intentions, 
Okay, the empress in reverse. This is this is a loss of that fertility, a loss of where this is going. Sometimes this can also be my mistress card. Okay, the four of wands is this is a relationship. This is love. This is being happy with what you have. Okay, but something was unfair. Something happened unfairly. This is some sort of, you might be thinking this was a twin flame connection and now it's just a karmic lesson that you needed to learn. But you're feeling very stuck. You don't know which way to go because your sadness and your sorrow has you a little bit off your game. Okay, Aquarius. So let's go ahead and see how this resonates with you guys. Right now you are exhibiting the strength card. Strength is Leo. This is, you might have Leo in your chart. You might be exhibiting these qualities, but the strength card is all about standing your ground. I get whatever this heartbreak is, okay? Whatever this heartbreak might be. Again, it doesn't necessarily have to, I don't want all of my Aquarius to run out and be like, oh, my partner's cheating on me. No, but it's something that is affecting you emotionally. It's something that has you feeling sad, distracted, distraught. It could be the loss of a loved one. Okay, it could be because remember the three of swords also speaks to the original trine, mother, father, child. It could be some sort of heartbreak that you have that goes back to your childhood. Okay, so it doesn't necessarily mean that somebody is cheating on you, although for some of you it will definitely mean that. But you guys are being really strong. Okay, you guys are being optimistic. You guys are sort of dealing well with things. This is somebody who's dealing with their demons or recognizes that they have to deal with this situation in an adult way. Okay, also this is all, all about you giving it time, also like not reacting. I mean, obviously there was an initial emotional reaction to whatever this was, okay? But this is you pulling back and saying, you know what, I'm going to wait and see how I feel in a few days, or I'm going to be giving this situation, I'm going to put some time and space and distance between me and this situation, so then I can actually speak to this person or deal with this in a way that where, you know, I'm not just emotionally reacting and triggered by it, okay? And that's that takes a lot of strength okay the way that you guys um what's blocking you is the magician in reverse this is you not being able to manifest what you want i think somebody was trying to make let get their needs met but they were going about it the wrong way and this is you just feeling defeated this is you feeling like you know what the magic that was was this situation whether it was a job whether it was a love relationship family situation whatever it was Whatever this love, you're feeling like the magic is gone. You're feeling like, you know what, I cannot move forward. I can't do what it is I need to do. I can't do what it is I want to do. You might have all of the tools in front of you, but I feel like you're feeling a little bit blinded and you like don't know how to use them. You don't know how to put that information together to move forward. Okay, Aquarius? Now, the intentions that you need to set right now, we have the Eight of Wands in reverse, which takes us to the Seven of Wands. Seven of Wands is you standing your ground. You need to do what's right for you, okay? You also need to defend your position, all right? So provided if somebody was stepping out on you, somebody was betraying you, okay? Again, it doesn't necessarily mean to be, it's a loved one. It could be a business partner. It could be a family member. It could be somebody who is talking behind your back. You need to defend yourself. You need to stand your ground. This isn't something that you can sweep under under the rug. Okay, spirit, spirit is being very, very clear of that. Eight of Wands in reverse. This is also a lack of communication. So whoever this is, if this person is hurting you, okay, physically or emotionally, you need to get the hell out of there. You need to cut off communication. Again, you need to give yourself some time to process whatever is going on here, whatever is you know toxic for you, whatever is hurting you. All right, so put that distance between you. All right, stop communication for now. All right, the Eight of Wands is my stop communication card. This is also all about something that was in motion that came to a screeching halt. You know, we see, you know, just like in a cartoon, you know, like throwing, a, you know, throwing these wands in the air and them just boom, dropping, hitting the ground. All right. Now, the Two of Cups in reverse is the information that you need to help cultivate your intentions. That this is somehow this, there was not an equal exchange of gifts. The Two of Cups in reverse is my breakup card. Some of you are separating from a loved one, a family member, a partner, a job, something that just was completely out of balance. I feel like Aquarius, you guys were blindsided by this. I feel like this is something that you didn't see coming. And I think you need to go back and you need to look at the importance of finding balance and loving yourself at this really difficult time. 
all right? Because spirit wants you, we've got two major manifestation cards here. We have the magician and we have the eight of wands, all about law of attraction and manifestation. You can manifest what it is you want, what it is you need. You have the strength and you have the power, okay? And I think even part of you feels optimistic, even though you're kind of going through this, you know, excuse my language, this sort of shit storm, Okay, now this, is, this reading might not resonate for all of my Aquarians, so please do check your other signs if the message doesn't resonate with you. But learning from the outside world, I think this is also like learning from your past, looking at situations in the past, breakups that you might have experienced, relationships. Again, if this doesn't speak with the person that you're with right now, again, it's going back to that original relationship that you that you that you learned about love and that would be you know your parents and it's also trying to forgive them as well for their actions it's not blaming your parents okay for anything that's going on in your life now but it is looking at that um it's looking at you know what you know about love from your past okay and how this situation resonates with that and how you can heal okay so how you can find a way to heal through this the two of cups in reverse brings us back to the ace of cups this is the importance aquarius aquarius of self-love right now self-love and self-respect and standing up for that that's the intention you need to set you're going to fight through this you're going to be okay spirit wants you to know that you're loved you're not alone you know if you don't feel like you have people in your life um spirit saying you know your angels your ancestors your loved ones who have passed your spirit guides are all here you can communicate with them but you do need to meditate you need to find that time ask for help ask for signs okay and really you need to replenish that cup there is a new blessing that will be coming to you okay new any ending brings about a new beginning the positive energy that will emerge during this phase. We have the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is you being confident. The Qu Queen of Wands is you being successful. Anything she touch, she touches, she turns to gold. She, the Empress energy that we saw that was in reverse is kind of like something, you know, something that was moving, came to a sort of a screeching halt, you know, something you weren't able to, you weren't able to get what you wanted out of this relationship or take this relationship to the place you wanted to. Again, it doesn't have to be romantic. It could be a business relationship, partnership. It could be a job. It could be whatever. But the Queen of Wands is Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. She's a very strong woman. I love her coming out in the upright. Again, remember, gender is fluid, so it doesn't necessarily mean that it is a woman. For some of you, you're going to meet this absolutely ecstatic, amazing, passionate woman that reignites this fire within you or this person. And it's definitely through parties. It's through social gatherings. You know, she's a real social butterfly. For others of you, this is you really working on that solar plexus chakra. All right, and we see that coming out with this eight of wands in reverse. The seven of wands is all about standing your ground. You know, this might, you might have to dig in for a little bit of a fight here. And that fight might require you even just pulling back, okay? Doing everything that you can to sort of make sure you take a mature approach to whatever this sadness and this heartbreak might be. You can manifest the world into being, okay? So all you have to do, Aquarius, is imagine it. But this Queen of Wands is this positive energy that comes out. This is you standing your ground. This is you being elegant. This is you being passionate. This is you maybe even, you know, meeting somebody new, having a tryst, or having a very sexually charged relationship with them, okay? So um, there's, you know, the, I think that energy is really good. And this is you getting your fire back. Lots of fire in here for you guys, Aquarius. Leo, Aries, Sag, lots and lots of fire. Okay. Additional messages. Whoops. Additional messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. I do apologize. There's music blasting outside, but I have to have the windows open because it's very hot in here, you guys. <clears throat> Additional messages for Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. Yes fulfillment of wishes i love that energy for you guys yeah it came out in the reverse so i think again with the with the magician card in reverse and that card coming out in reverse saying that i think everything that you wanted you weren't able to manifest but spirit saying that that because it wasn't right for you so now you're going to be on this corrective path okay aquarius don't worry that's what spirit is saying this is all for your better your greatest good Foundation and achievements. Yes. So I think, you know, for those of you who really wanted stability, wanted family, wanted happiness, 
Okay, well, we all kind of want those things, but you know, those of you, you know, that really wanted happiness and um, this is coming to you. And it very well may be coming through this Queen of Wands character, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, or somebody who's got all those qualities in their chart. Yeah, and this is going to be your wish fulfillment. Whatever this sadness, this heartbreak was, I'm sorry you had to go through it. Spirit says, I'm sorry you had to go through it too. Okay, but maybe, you know, there was some lessons here that you needed to learn. Okay, and you needed to go through this so then you could now be on the right path. And the path to meeting the right person. Okay, or the right job, or the right living situation. Okay, Aquarius. What additional messages do we have for Aquarius? Sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Crow spirit. Co-create with spirit. I love that. One and seven is an eight. So again, eights are about that abundance um, and all about manifestation. You can. You can manifest this. You can dream the world into being. It's not the first time I'm saying that to you. We've got the strength card. We've got the wands card. We've got the 17 crow spirit coming out. You know, eights are achievement, rebirth, changes, abundance, manifestation. You're going to be manifesting this sort of soulmate, this soul connection, somebody who's actually really, really good for you, and somebody who shares the same vision and dreams as you do in your life. Okay? For some of you, I want you to pay attention to birds. All right, now you might know down here there are lots of birds, roosters, crowing, and that sort of thing. But I do want you guys to pay attention to birds as symbols and signs from your spirit guides and from spirit. All right. I really like this. I like how this is, Aquarius, this is shaped up for you. All right, 59, starfish spirit, open to infinite possibility. Remember, endings are all about new beginnings. Make sure that you don't have that heart chakra too closed off because of this this heartbreak sadness sorrow okay whatever it is that you've been going through i know that it really hurt but it wasn't right for you and it was a lesson in there for you strength and it's bringing you one step closer to someone or something that is going to bring you all of your wish fulfillment so right now with this solar eclipse and capricorn and also this new moon set those intentions dream big aquarius dream past this heartbreak Dream past it. You're going to be just fine. Oh, I want to just give you a hug, Aquarius. But it's, ac it's actually really beautiful because what's coming to you, infinite possibility, co-creating with spirit. That's you manifesting all of your wishes and manifesting and achieving them and, and success. Unfinished symphony. Yes. So even if you feel like, you know, there was a, a complete ending, I love that because it's a 10, that's a completion of something. Even if you felt kind of destroyed by the loss of this relationship or whatever, this loss of this job, whatever it is that's make, bringing you so much heartache, you know, Spirit's saying, you know, it's not over till the fat lady sings, right? And there's so much coming to you. Aquarius, there are very good things coming to you. It doesn't matter how old you are. But you did have to get through this. You do have to get through this sadness and this heartbreak. All right, you have to get through it. Additional messages for Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, and Venus signs. Service. I feel good when I can help others. Also, remember your pain and your heartbreak might serve. You might be a beacon of hope for others who are going through the same thing. Okay, so for some of you, it might be much bigger than just a breakup. It might be maybe the loss of a parent or the loss of somebody that you love. I am getting for some of you, like, this has to do with substance abuse. Okay, or that could be what ended your relationship. It could be domestic violence as well. Okay, but you telling your story, all right, you sharing these feelings, this is going to bring, you know, this is going to make you feel better to be able to help others who might be going through the same thing. Regret. I know that I cannot change the past. So keep your eyes on the present and on the future, okay? You cannot change the past, it's okay. Maybe you guys are regretting ever taking this job or ever you know, getting involved with this person in the first place or ignoring the red flag. Spirit doesn't want you to be hard on yourself. This was a lesson that you were fated to learn, okay? And your life, you are an unfinished symphony made up of so many beautiful notes and so many more beautiful notes to come, 
Okay, so Spirit's like, please don't give up. Your wish fulfillment is on the horizon. <clears throat> Athena, inner wisdom. You know what to do. Trust your inner wisdom and take appropriate action without delay. Yes. All right, it's time to move, you guys. Time to move. Time to take action. All right, stand in your strength. I love this reading for you guys, Aquarius. I know it's not easy. It hasn't been easy. Um, but spirit just says, you know, I'm with you. Your spirit guides, your angels, your ancestors, your loved ones who have passed are all here to help you and support you through this time. All right. I love you guys, but there's so many good things coming to you. This is an unfinished symphony. You know what to do. You know what to do. Please give this video a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, comment and share if and only if that's something that you like to do. And don't forget how much I love you guys and I hope you have an absolutely beautiful, beautiful full moon in Capricorn. Sorry, new moon in Capricorn.